Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4. And I'm really, really sorry there's been a little bit of a break in episodes. I don't know if you can hear, but I probably sound quite nasal. I came back from South Africa and I ended up getting like a traveler's like illness thing. And I think I was developing a cold at the same time. And because I was so run down from the whole traveler's illness, I have had the worst cold I've ever had in my life. Like I've literally been bedridden, couldn't move, everything hurt. Poor Ali has have to like, been making me tomato soups. Evie has been like my little nurse. She's been there the whole time. And guys, basically I'm just really full of cold, but I kind of feel worse just sitting there doing nothing. So I really, really have been desperate to record for you guys. And hopefully I can get through all this without sneezing too, <coughs> without sneezing and coughing too much. But guys, positive vibes creates a healthy body. I've decided that's how it's gonna work. So we're gonna play some more Sims 4 for you guys. In the last episode, we managed to get to 100,000 pounds. Finally, we're doing really, really awesomely. You guys have also mentioned that like I haven't got enough lots in the world that they can visit. And also, you guys say that we don't leave the house much. I think that is replicating Ali and I's real life because I'm not gonna lie, we stay in and like just chill in the house a lot. We don't go out as much as we should do. So our Sims have been doing that as well. And guys, that's not on. So so look, I've built this restaurant here, and I've also built, yep, Chez, Chez Lama, and I've also built the Creekside Bar. So, that's super close to where we live. We now have a new bar and a new restaurant, and also, little baby James has only got 13 days to age up, but he's leveled out all of his skills. So I was kind of thinking maybe we could age him up a little bit early. Hopefully you, well, some of you guys did say that in the comments, so hopefully you agree. So, I'm going to play some more Sims 4 with our little family lambs here. <sighs> Hopefully I'm not gonna pass on my call to you guys across the internet because that's literally how bad it is I feel like I can do that. So headphones on. So yeah, I have to experience the joys of the gorgeous Sims 4 music guys Guys, it's just too beautiful. It's just too beautiful to miss. So let's play some more. Oh, am I clicked the right thing? No, no, who are you? Get away. You're not clear. Exit. Leave. Guys, I'm lost. I feel that I'm lost. These are our guys. Let's play some more Sims 4. Ah, guys, so, so ill. Okay, here is the little Famalams. Look, as I said, look at little James's little skill tree. Five, level five. He's three on potty, but I think that's the max you can get. Basically, look at his little butt. Our kid is going to be a genius, even though he's got loads of eyes on his head, which is kind of creepy. So, <coughs> So it's 5 a.m. in the morning, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to chat with you guys. So I'm going to line up some little... Oh, wow, has, has Ali not been to sleep? Okay, Ali doesn't have work today. And one thing I was thinking, I was looking at guides for how to get rich quickly. And a lot of places say that writing is a really, really good way. So I was thinking, because Ali actually has a book coming out, like a graphic novel, Ali should probably get to writing some books. So let's kick him off with some book writing. I'm assuming little Jamesy boy has only just woken up. His health, his, uh, his hunger even isn't that bad. But you know what? It's easy when babies sleep. So James, go back to sleep. And then Claire, you need to get eating. I don't know why there's all this gross stuff out. Look at our sick new fridge, guys. Claire is going to cook some good old fruit salad. And then her social bar is really low. So she should probably chat to her family at some point. So what is the name of the book? Um, I think it's called Ali A Adventures. Yeah. And then the book. Oh my gosh. What is it called? Give me one moment, guys. I am actually in the book, but I've not seen what my character looks like in it yet. And when I do see it, I'm going to show you guys because I'm I'm super excited to see how it looks. Game on, of course. Ali Adventures, game on. How would you describe this book? Sick. There we go. So Claire's going to cook some little breakfast. She's going to eat that. She should probably clean up as well because everything's pretty freaking gross, let's not lie. And because they've all... Oh, no! Oh, no! What is going on? Okay, this is a really, really bad start. <gasps> we can't replace it. Okay, repair the computer, Ali. Repair the computer. So in the last episode, um, Claire, one of the focuses, I like to have a focus in every episode. Uh, one of Claire's focuses was to try and lose some of her baby weight. And um, I, I kind of wanted to just chat about that really quickly. I've been thinking a long time about the best way to do this because it's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to kind of figure out the best way to chat to you about this, guys, because some of you guys didn't really like the idea that Claire was working out last episode. You thought that I dealt with it a little bit of insensitively. And you didn't like that it was the plot of the episode. So I do have to have a plot in every episode. I like to have something to aim towards. Um, I think it's more fun to do it that way, both for me and for you guys watching as well. <coughs> And also, I have to do it in an entertaining and humorous way, guys, because that's the way these episodes are set out. So I will preface by saying that. 
But a few of you guys said that you didn't like that content, it upset you, um, or you were disappointed with it. And I never wanted to do that to you guys. I never ever want to upset any of you guys. So if any of you guys did get upset, like, I'm sorry, I do not want to make you guys upset. That is never ever my intention. Uh, I love you guys commented how I focused on her weight and I was like shocked about her weight. Okay, story time guys, story time. So, Claire put on a lot of weight in a short period of time. And I didn't actually realize until I was reading through your guys' comments, because I always read through your guys' comments. And you'd kind of pointed out that um, Claire had all this baby weight and she hadn't lost it and it was kind of surprising. So I was like, what? I need to go and check this out. So I was genuinely quite shocked when I saw it. But also, Claire kind of mirrored real life a little bit because when I went to uni, I actually did exactly what Claire did. So I went to uni um, and I was in the UK, we call it being a fresher when you were in your first year. I put on, in less than a year, nearly two stone of weight. The way I did this was just, uh, one, never working out, never doing any kind of workouts, two, going out too much, but three, I ate really badly, the same way that Simclair was just sat there eating cake. When I was in my first year of uni, I literally did the exact same thing. Like, I can remember coming home from uni and being like, okay, I need a little treat, a little treat after dinner. I'd buy a whole big lot bottle of, I don't know if you guys have fun to twist, <coughs> Chili Heat Wave Doritos in the big pack, uh, dairy milk and the big dairy milks and I would eat all that in one evening and drink all that fancy twist in one evening. All by myself, I would literally just sit there and do that. And I put on two stone in like less than a year. And I'm not surprised because I was living unhealthily and I was eating unhealthily. And Simclair had kind of replicated exactly what I did. But also, I know when I'd put on that weight in such a short space of time, I didn't feel good. Like, I wasn't healthy and I wasn't happy. <coughs> oh wow, Ali's finished his book already. Fair play, Ali, fair play. And I don't know, like, I just wanted to make her healthier and happier and also for Simclair to kind of replicate real Claire. I mean, I've made her go jogging and stuff. Like, to be fair, she is way thinner than, <laughs> than I actually am in real life. But still, like, I don't know. I just wanted to make her healthy and happy and I definitely didn't want to make any of you guys feel victimized or... Like, I know how I know how horrible it can be to be in school and have people be nasty about certain things. And I know that weight is definitely something that people are really cruel on. I'll never support that. I don't support bullying in any single way. I got bullied at school. I know how horrible it is. That wasn't what it was about at all. And I tried to kind of make it lighthearted. Actually, all the songs I used were like songs that were positive about being like a more curvy girl as well. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So I don't know. I just wanted to address that. Like some of you guys were saying that, you know, you've, you you can be beautiful at every size and all that thing, all that kind of thing. I think you can. I totally agree with that. I think you can be beautiful at every size. I think you can be unhealthy at every size as well. But this Claire Sim that we saw in the last episode, especially because of her weight, like around this like midsection, that's unhealthy. That is unhealthy. And I was just trying to make her healthy. And if you have weight in that area, you, you, you do put yourself at risk at certain diseases. So that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a healthy Sim. And I don't want you guys to feel bad about that. And I know it can be really hard to want to sort of to, to actually like work out and do stuff. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but hopefully you guys understand why why last episode was all about Sim Claire trying to get healthy and it was just meant to be funny and lighthearted, guys. So I don't want any of you guys to get upset. And if you did, I'm really sorry. And this episode is gonna have a completely different focus because not only do we now have, look at this, 108,000 Simleons in the bank, but I kind of want to make this episode a little bit more about little baby James here. So look how pale he is. I want to make sure that when he grows up to be a, a child, that he is actually like a cool, cute, good looking child. I don't know whether he's going to be or not. We know that when he turned into um, a toddler from a baby, he was kind of a little bit creepy looking, guys. I'm not going to lie. He was definitely a bit of a creepy looking baby. And I'm hoping that he's not going to be a creepy looking child. But we never know. Look at that. Ali bringing back nearly 2,000 Simleons. Not getting promoted, though. Because I didn't tell him to work hard. I did not tell him to work hard, which is a little bit of a shame. But I think once um, little baby James grows up, I will get Ali, real life Ali, not in-game Ali over. And... Um, he will see how he grows up. He will see how he grows up and we'll see what he looks like. I also kind of think, I don't know. I feel like if I didn't talk about all the stuff, the, the comments in the last episode, I probably, I'm probably at risk of like you guys getting more upset or more angry if I talk about this stuff. But I think it's worse not to talk about things and just to brush them in the rug or delete comments or pretend it never happened. I'm not going to do that. I do think if last episode had focused on Ali getting healthy, I don't think there would have been the same backlash. I think it was definitely because Claire was a girl that that happened. Okay, so Ali published his book, 
But the last time I checked, he only got three dollars. He only got three dollars from his book, guys. So I think it's time that we do the next book. It's not called Pat the Badger. It's still called The Allier Adventures. The last one was called Game On. This one's gonna be called Level Two, okay? How would you describe this book? Even better. Even better. The last one was just described as sick. This one's this one's a little bit more descriptive. There we go. So Ali is for how oh, oh, full of calls my sound. Ali's forging his way as a writer as well as a programmer as well as a pro, pro gamer. He has got all these avenues for potential revenue ahead of him to try and make ourselves as much money as we possibly can. I'm kind of good he didn't get promoted, guys. He can try again on Thursday. And actually, you know what? Oh no, Claire's at work today. Claire finishes at two though. I think when Claire gets home, we're gonna call a babysitter and Claire and Ali are gonna have a night out. They're gonna go to a bar and they're gonna go to a restaurant. And if they're still awake enough at the end, they're gonna go to a nightclub. Guys, it's basically all gonna happen, okay? Okay, Claire is at work and Claire has started to see a war go on in her newsfeed. Something about a shirt and nobody can seem to agree on a color. Oh gosh, you know what this is. That's that stupid dress where no one knew whether it was, was it blue or white or something? I don't know. Let's go green because it's my favorite color. Claire's fans are excited to see she is on their side. And we got a performance gain at work. Today could be the day, guys. Her bar isn't fully excellent, but today could be the day where Claire gets a promotion. Fingers crossed, please let this be the day. Ali needs to get ready for the day. Okay, goes to the toilet. Like, let's give little James a bath and stuff. And then you need to call a babysitter. We didn't get promoted, what? We still didn't get promoted. Are you actually joking? Are you actually joking? Oh my gosh, look, we have a hundred thousand, uh, we have a million followers. We have six on the on the charisma skill, and we still didn't manage to get promoted. Look how tense she is. She's like, why didn't I get promoted? Claire, I know exactly what will detense you, and that is a beautiful date. So why don't you organize some transportation? We're going to do a travel. Just you and Ali. You don't bring babies on dates. <coughs> Hopefully someone's looking after the baby. I mean, I didn't organize it. Okay, let's go for a drink first at the bar. Guys, they've not done any kind of date stitch in ages. This is the first time they've ever been to a bar. Do they know they're on a date? <gasps> She's still all tense. Ali, make her feel good. Ali, um, offer her a massage. Flash some crazy eyes at her. That will definitely make you feel better. Ask her about your favorite author as well, because apparently now Ali's got two books published and he makes $7 a day. Order drinks for group. Let's get some juice on the rocks. That sounds good. Look at these guys. Is Claire less tense now? She's bored. Oh, from work, not from Ali's conversation. Where are they going? They're off on a jog. Claire's infectious new health kick. Oh no, they're jogging to the bar. That sounds more like them. <coughs> so look at this, they've got their little juice on the rocks. There's some other people in the bar as well. Apparently they're phasing through each other. That guy just became a girl. And maybe they can do some like, let's do some little uh, outrageous stories. Impishly pester her. I don't even know what that means, but I want to see it happen. Oh, she's vexed. Oh, she's vexed. She did not like that. Oh no. Smooth apology, do a smooth oh, apology, Ali. Oh, Flash her some crazy eyes, she loves that, she absolutely loves that. Oh, look at them, they're giving each other roses and... Don't trick her with a hand buzzer. Ali's playful and he's gonna ruin this date with his crazy playfulness. Like, blow her a kiss. Look, they've gone to a really nice little spot. I think Ali is due a clothing change, by the way. Claire's changed her clothes. <gasps> Claire's rubbing her nose. She's like literally as ill as I am. <gasps> look at that little kid blowing a kiss. What is upstairs at this bar? Oh, just the toilets and stuff. Okay, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool bar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did she just kick the bin over? What mentalist? Do you even work here? Oh my gosh, what a Fruit Loop. Oh no, Claire's kind of sat next to this cool dude now. That's not how this is meant to go. Okay, you need to... Where's it gone? Ask Claire on a date and then we'll go to the restaurant, okay? Go to the Cher's Llama. Why llama? Like the Sims games are absolutely obsessed with llamas, if you've never noticed before. They love llamas to just an unreal degree. I saw no llamas in South Africa. Okay, here is the Shez Llama. Claire's got a wedding dress on. Oh my gosh. Claire, why do you have a wedding dress on? I guess it's because it's a classy joint. And I think I put them in like formal clothes for their like wedding at home. So they've turned up here literally dressed. Dressed as if they're gonna get married. Okay, you know what? They can just be the the snazziest couple in the whole bar. I mean, look at them. 
They look very lovely. Look how lovely they look. But still, a li maybe a little bit overdressed for the occasion, guys. It is just a llama restaurant, but you know, where's Claire just gone? He's requesting a table and Claire's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go take a table by force. Oh, she's gone to the bar. <gasps> Requested a table, order food for yourself and your date. <gasps> so because they've gone on a date to the restaurant, the, the things that they need to do are a little bit different. Oh, look. Look at these lovely romantic sort of nice vibe area over here. But they've gone to go sit in the cafe. To be fair, whenever Ali and I go on a date, we like the comfy seats. We prefer to sit side by side like this on a date. So I think that's absolutely fine. This is probably what we would do. Let's just do some nice little chit chats. Oh, what? This guy is like obsessed with Claire in her wedding dress. Fam, this is a date. You need to back off. Go away. I can't even... I can't even view just them because this guy is taking over. Be enticing. There we go. Finally, it's just these two guys. This is very cute. Let's see what it looks like with all the walls up and stuff. This is a nice place. Really nice. What's upstairs? The toilets. It's always just the toilets upstairs, guys. Nothing that exciting. But this is the first time they've ever been to a restaurant together. So we still have date goals that we need to try and achieve, such as we've got to socialize with our date 10 times, which we can definitely do. They can have some deep conversations as well. I don't know how to order a meal though. Does a waiter come? I don't know how this works. Do I need to like, do we need to go to a waiter and ask? Maybe we can ask this lady here. Oh, here we go. Order for the table. Okay, we can do that. Will she come to us? Or yes, yeah, she's gonna come to us, maybe. Oh, menu. Oh my gosh, appetizer. Guys, this is so cool. I did not know I could do all this. Let's get, I know we're meant to be getting money, but should we get a Sims Mapolitan? Let's get that. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, you could do all of this. Appetizer could be cured meats, honey world fruit, honeyed world fruit, and iceberg lettuce in a glacier. I'm kind of feeling this glacier sort of thing. So I'm gonna get that for both of those guys. And this is the main meal. So the chef is saying the bamboo roll is probably the way to go. But look at all these options. Like you can tell this is a nice joint. Look at this space taco. And then for dessert, uh, chocolate caviar, a berry cake, or crystallized cocoa blocks. Um, I'm gonna go for the cocoa blocks because that sounds freaking awesome. <gasps> the bill is $78, okay. It's a pretty expensive meal, but you know what? They've worked their butts off. They've got 112,000 simleons. So I'm gonna go for that option. <gasps> Look how pretty Claire looks in her lovely dress. Oh, she's so cute. She looks very dignified. And look at Ali in his tux. Look how gorgeous he looks. He's looking at Claire like he finds her gorgeous as well. <gasps> I love it. They look wonderful. Okay, now they're pretending to order even though I've ordered or already ordered for them. Bless them. Whenever we go out, we have this little thing where I tell Ali what I like, what I want to eat, and um, Ali orders it for me on the menu just because we're, we're little romantic bunnies like that. So there we go. <gasps> Guys, their first meal is coming. What is it? <gasps> it's just magic Johnson. What the hell? That's their dessert. What the hell? Take a photo of your food. What? Why is their dessert? Why is their dessert coming first? I don't understand. Claire, Claire took a little picture of it though. Can I do like some social networks while I'm here? I wonder. Announce appearance. Yes. We should definitely do that. They look very classy at the restaurant together, guys. I'm liking this. Very classy little meal. I don't understand why their dessert has come first though. Meditate up upon sublime flavors. They should definitely do some of that. Bemoan lack of banana for scale. Oh my gosh, so that's a reference to Reddit. You put a banana for scale so people can understand how big something is. So I don't know why you would be sad about that when you're eating, but there you go. Look at their food. It's literally glowing. Look how amazing their food is. It is glowing. They've done three, social uh, three socializations about the meal. Their date's doing really well, guys. One person has downloaded Ali and Claire. Thank you for person downloading Ali and Claire, which is The Sims here. Can I see? 280 people have downloaded us. <gasps> guys, you are living the Ali and Claire Sim dream. There you go. Claire has tasted the wonders of experimental food and now understands the flavors involve. You can cook this dish at home. I'm not quite sure if that is how eating really really complicated to cook food works but never mind if you guys want it to work that way you can have it work that way guys their date's nearly over and i think they've achieved everything oh my gosh they just need to kiss they just need to do a passionate kiss can we do that 
Can we do that? <laughs> Passionate kiss. Oh. They will have to get up from the table though. But they want to end the date in style, right? <gasps> oh my gosh, Claire's the one tipping Ali. Oh my gosh, okay. You know what? Who cares about gender norms? There we go. Claire tipped Ali for his romantic kiss. <gasps> and that's ended probably the nicest date ever. How well has that date gone? I wonder if they can do like secret woo-woos in the restaurant. Is that an option? Oh my god, Claire's pit smell. For oh God's sake. Surely there's like secret woo-woo places. She's gonna make us do it randomly on our date. Yeah, we're having a really good date. <laughs> Legendary date, see? I don't think there's anywhere to do a woo-woo though, so... I thought maybe we could find a bush, but... Wish you were that interested in it in real life. Oi! Oh guys, Claire's really tired. Look at her. She did go to work today, to be fair. I'll tell you what, let's, let's end the date. And get these little cheeky bums to go home. Go home. And go home. And then maybe they can do woo-woos at home instead of cr crazy wild woo-woos. There we go. Okay, we're back home again. We're back home. James went to daycare, apparently. I think... I don't know if it's in this game or Sims 3. But you can become, like, um, a professional daycare manager and, like, look after loads of little babies. <gasps> you left without paying, so we charged you. Oh my gosh, guys. They literally just left the restaurant without even paying. Claire's gone straight to sleep. She went to sleep before I could even get home and choose them to do any actions. Sorry about that, Sim Ali. Okay. That sounds about right. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's like a little baby James is here. He wants some socializations with Ali. Yeah. He's going to do a little chit chat with him. And then to be honest, I think Sim Ali should probably also go to sleep as well. There we go. You know what? Sim Ali is a freaking awesome dad. I think he probably socializes the most with James. Although they're both really good. They're both really good and James is very happy. <gasps> Claire's up! Oh, but now Ali's asleep. <laughs> oh, should I just wake Ali up for a second? Let's wake Ali up. And then let's do some woo-woos. End a perfect date with a perfect woo-woo. There we go. Now, some of you guys said we should have another baby, but I want to hold off until we get to um, our dream house. I think it'd be really nice to raise a baby in the dream house. So I think I am going to hold off until then, I'm afraid, guys. But as soon as we get to dream house, babies will be hard. So that means we need to work our butts off and get to dream house ASAPs. So let's get everybody just doing all their daily things, try and earn as much money as they possibly can. And then I think this evening, this evening we will age up the little baby James. So Ali's got work today. Royalty report. Oh, guys, he's not earning loads of money from his royalties, but hey, it's better than a punch in the face, right? <gasps> Claire's finally been promoted, guys. Claire's been promoted to online A-lister. She makes $278 per hour. She's received loads of signed stuff that we're going to immediately sell. <laughs> and she can now prank streamers. She can stream Let's Play video games. Her next shift is Monday at 10 a.m. And guys, she got a little bonus, potentially. Oh my gosh, her bonus kind of sucked. Ali gets such good bonuses. Claire doesn't, but you know what? She actually finally got promoted. So let's go straight into um, buy and build mode. Oh my God, how nasal am I? How freaking nasal am I? We're gonna be selling all of these things that she got signed. I'm sorry, also her date package, because look, look how much money it gives us, guys. It's better to sell it. It is always better to sell it. So I said that if Claire went to work and did her thing, then we would age James up. So, you know what? Ali is doing a little bit of um, freelancing at the moment. Claire, what's wrong with Claire? She's just tense. She's just tense. I know what will make you feel better. Baking a little cake. So, let's bake... No, none of those things. Don't bake any of those things. Is it cook? You don't cook a cake. You bake a cake. Sims, get it together. Okay, so Claire's going to go in. Bake a little cake. I think this... Ali starts working an hour. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we'll bake the cake, we'll put it in the fridge and we'll do it tomorrow morning. And we'll bring Ali over and when um, when James ages up, we can all be there to watch this beautiful experience together, okay? Ali, you've got work. Have you done your daily video gaming? No, you've only done 50% of it. Okay, you're gonna be missing work. Okay, Bernard, you're just gonna have to go to work, Ali. You're just gonna have to go to work. Okay, did you did you put the cake in the fridge? Is the cake in the fridge? Let's, let's just, let's just quickly open the fridge. Oh, is it still in the oven? Oh my gosh, what has happened to the cake? Yes, okay. We've got a full cake in the fridge, so hopefully no one's going to take a slice out of that. Post photo on Instagram. Oh my gosh, that's her photo from the meal. I thought she'd already done that. Okay, so Claire's got baby James all nice and clean, ready for his aging up experience. How many followers does she need to get promoted now? 10 million! 10 million followers, guys. 
That's never gonna happen. That is never gonna happen. That's a ridiculous number of followers. That's more followers than Ali has subs on his main channel, so that's a ridiculous number. Oh look, she can prank streamers now. I don't know if people are gonna like that. I feel like pranking streamers is a really bad idea. That's like getting SWAT teams to come to their house. And we all know how that ends, guys. Fail, they caught on too quick. No, we did not prank the stream as well. Okay, so everybody's in bed, ready for James's big day tomorrow. As usual, the house is a little bit of a mess, but shh, it's fine, it's fine. We're not gonna talk about it. Ali's woken up all stink, so let's get him in a nice thoughtful shower, I think. And then the cake is currently in the fridge. Uh, what I think I need to do actually is, I think I need to move it into my inventory. Oh no, half a cake. Wait, why is it half eaten? Who's eating the cake? Who's eating the cake? No, oh my gosh, okay. So I think Claire is sneakily eating some of the cake already. We're gonna have to, okay, Ali's better at baking than me. Why don't you bake a new cake, Ali? Okay, nobody is definitely not eating any of that cake. So let's put it in its inventory. Yes, because I think when it's in the inventory, then they can put candles on it. So, yes, add birthday candles. <gasps> Yay! And then, look at it! Look at the little candles! The candles actually look really real. Okay. Can we get James to blow out the candles? <gasps> Ask for help blowing out the candles! Yes! Okay, when he wakes up, that will happen. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Ali, do you want to see your child age up? Okay, so when James aged up from being a toddler, uh, yeah. to being a toddler, he was kind of scary looking. I think I saw it on your screen. Yeah, yeah. so I'm scared about this. I'm scared about this. But here he is. He's gonna blow out his candles. Is this how I do it? Yeah. Is he five years, six years old? Oh. He's, a, he's like a little toddler okay. becoming an adult. We just gave him a switch of candles so it felt good. James aged up. Okay. Childhood, boundless creativity. Oh wait. Can we, I think we have do to we assign him. Up? Yeah. What kind of kids do we want him to what be? What are we? Maybe we should get him something that we aren't. We are big nerds. Yeah, we're like, we're, we're creative and mental, right? Yeah. So maybe he should be motor and social. <laughs> the Sim wants to be playful and nimble. We want to give him that? Yeah, I want him to be sporty, why not? Okay, we should give him like a nice jungle gym then. Yeah. And then his trait? I want him to be ha active, like cheerful. Active would go along well. Active would work well. We've also got these kind of ones. Nah. These sort of ones? We nah. don't want it to be a kleptomaniac. Or these ones. <laughs> no, go to the first ones. The first ones are good. Self-assured, that's quite a good one, right? Yeah, he feels good about himself. Okay, I think that's a pretty good one. So, he's a rambunctious little scamp who wants to be <laughs> playful and nimble. And he's self-assured and he tends to be confident. I like that. Um, and that, the aspiration replaces his inquisitive trait, which is what he was as a little child. Okay. Nice. He's that oh, oh my there God. he is! <laughs> There is our little child. Oh my gosh, he, he has hot pants so, on. He's like European. He he's got. Swedish. Yeah, he does. It's his nose. Okay, let's just pause time a sec. He still looks like an evil kid, though. I know. You know why? It's because he doesn't get the eyes, because our eyes are technically like add on eyes. Oh, so he's got like freak boy eyes. So he's got like this little cute nose. He actually looks like mad Swedish. Like, look how he calm and gentle look Swedish, he is. Doesn't like, he? Look at me. I am the golden child. He's got my big nose. He's got a nice nose. Zoom out. He looks like some like one of the kids from um, the Sound of Music. Sound of Oh my gosh. He literally <laughs> does look like Sound of Music. Okay, so I'm gonna change his eyes. That is the one thing that I always do because practice speech. That's what you do. You stand in front of mirrors and practice like smiling and stuff. Everybody should do that. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? How, how do I funny. change his appearance? Do I have to plan outfit? Oh my gosh, look at his lame clothes. I don't think he looks like us. No, it's because of the eyes. So last time, I think he had those eyes. And then he starts to look a little bit more. I don't know where he's got this blonde I'd hair still from, be, though. I'd like, quite freaked out if that was our child. I'd be like, I don't know what's going on here, but that doesn't seem right. Like, he's, he's like, he is a bit strange looking. He's got no chin to speak of at all. Maybe that's from your face? Shut know. up, it's from your face. <laughs> oh, look at his smile, he's like, his smile's oh. disgusting. <laughs> but he's still our sweet child. He's our sweet little summer child. Yeah, we're just hating on little James. I know, why don't we, there we go. What? <laughs> no! Oh my forehead. gosh, he's got our forehead. He's got a top Oh forehead. my gosh, we've passed, that's Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake hair. Is that, is it quite curly? Yeah, do you not remember back in the day? What about the little sweepy fringe? Yes, rock that. Does he kind of look a bit like, 
He's horrible! Like He's so weird, baby. He's not our child. I don't want to say like Hitler Youth, but What's going on with his eyes? He's got creepy eyes, hasn't he? Does he kind of look a bit Aryan race? Yeah, but we don't speak of these things. What can we do to prevent that though? Skin colour, hair colour? Can we change any of that stuff? Or is that like making sin changes? Uh so I gave him lipstick last time. No, okay. We could always give him some cool little glasses. Could put a bin bag over his head. No, stop being cruel on the child. <laughs> so he needs a new top though. He definitely tops. needs some cooler clothes. You can get looks. So he could be like going hey, for pro. Hey, or he could be like oh, snuggly wow. chic. That's a, that's a good girl. He does look quite girly there. He's got creepy eyes. <laughs> a well-dressed <laughs> lad. Hipster oh, mini. Yo, Grandmaster Yoda. Yoda. That's sick. Who's much better with brown hair. Because I, I had blonde hair as a kid. Did you not have in blonde game, hair as though. a kid? No, I don't know in the game. Well, does, it, does it change hair colour in the game over time? I don't know. I think he'll stay blonde forever. That's what I'm saying. Do you want to see he what he... be blonde. Should we just see quickly what he looks like with brown hair? <coughs> He's so pale because of your freaking skin. Leave him alone. He's our child. He's our baby. Let him be whoever he wants to be, okay? There. Done. There we go. It kind of, um... He looks like PewDiePie. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda does it like a young pootie. He does. That's great, you can become the next pootie pie. Yeah, apart from we've money. made him uh, like an Sports. athletic sporting Maybe he'll redirect himself. <laughs> You're the pro gamer and I'm the like e-personality person. We're such a cool couple in this game, can I just how, say. How cool are we? Like, look at us. I know we can't because we're stuck in a fridge. Oh, <gasps> cheers go bald then. You went bald for a second. Look at us. <laughs> oh, we're probably in love with each other as well. They spend the whole time doing that, by the way. Really? We're just looking at each other doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. <gasps> Why does it do that? Watch! Oh <gasps> my god. That's so funny. But there we go. You just have to accept our child, okay? okay? That is who he is. I'm gonna buy him loads of cool stuff for his room now, but thank you very much for helping. Alright, bye James. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, I can get him his first ever violin. <gasps> no need to break the bank on your child's first violin, guys. Okay, he's got a robot and a violin. And then I can go get him an activity table or a wizard starter set. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it has to be this. So there we go, James has now got a grown-up room oh. with a freaking science set. Okay, James, what? go and experiment. Look, here he is doing science, guys. But he is gonna be a little active kid. He's dressed like such a little hipster. But there we go, guys. We now have, let's put up the walls, grown-up James. Baby James is no longer a baby anymore. He's a little scientist doing some science. Being a pretty cool little dude. So hopefully you guys like Grown Up James. We're on only 130,000 pounds as well. We're doing really good. What I'm gonna do now to avoid what happened last time. Cake is in the bin. Cake is straight in the bin. But hopefully you guys like this episode of The Sims 4. We now have our own full on child. Full on child sim. James, come over here and show us how beautiful you are. Come here. There he is guys. Our full-on grown-up little Sim James, who Ali apparently hates, but I think he's cute in a very sort of PewDiePie kind of way. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please send some Get Well vibes my way because I'm definitely feeling very, very full of cold. And happy May the 4th Star Wars Day as well. So I shall see you guys in the next video of The Sims 4. As always, let us know in the comments what you want us to do in the next episode. Thank you guys for the date suggestion idea and for the James leveling up suggestion idea for this episode. I definitely had a lot of fun doing both those things. And we will join the little calorie aching clan in the next episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. Bye!